Hi, my name is Praveen and in this video, I will show you how to build password reset workflows for custom resource types using SSH commands. Before we start, there are two steps you should carry out before adding a command set. Make sure your device allows SSH connections as this feature is supported only for SSH based resources. Next, log in as a privileged administrator as only they are allowed to add, edit, or delete command sets. However, other administrators and users with administrative roles have the privilege to view the SSH command sets. Now, you are all set to add commands or command sets to Password Manager Pro. To begin, navigate to Admin tab, click on SSH Command Sets link under Customization. The SSH Commands section displays a set of predefined commands ready for use. This section will also display the commands you create apart from the default ones. To create a custom command, click on Add Command button. In the dialog box that opens, give a suitable name to your command. As an example, I, I will create a command for the password reset of a brocade switch. So I will name the command brocade switch. When you provide the command, ensure that it's of the format uh, specified here. For example, a command to reset the password of an account in the brocade switch will be of the format username, password. Here, username and password is the device command to reset the password. The login name, old password, new password are the placeholders which will fetch the values from Password Manager Pro. Note that for a command to execute properly, the command prompt you provide here should match the CLI prompt of your remote resource. In case of brocade switch, it will be ash. You can also set a timeout period for your command. This is the period until which Password Manager Pro waits for a command to be executed successfully. If the execution fails within this period due to a command prompt mismatch or an improper command, it will be captured in the audit logs. For this command, I will set the timeout period to be 20 seconds. You can also add an optional description for your command just for the sake of understanding what it does or why you're creating it. So here I will name it as Brocade switch reset. Save the command. Once created, the command will be shown under the list of default commands. Under actions, you can edit or delete the command. Note that you cannot edit or delete default commands and custom commands that are already associated with the resource. Once you have added the necessary commands, click on SSH command sets, add command set. Here, give a suitable name and description for your command set. Since I have created a command for brocade switch, I will name the command set as brocade switch and a description saying command set for brocade switch reset. Here you can see all the listed commands listed under the command name box. When you mouse over any of the commands, you will find two buttons, verify and reset. Clicking on this will move the commands to the respective boxes on the right side. 
when you add a command set to the verify SSH command sequence box, a command set will be created that will be applied when you want to verify if the password of an account is in sync with the one stored locally inside password manager pros repository. This is done by associating this command set to a resource type, which I will explain after this section. Similarly, when you add a set of commands to the reset command sequence box, a command set will be created that will be used to reset the accounts password of the associated resource type. Now let's save it. Now that we know how to create a command set, the next step is to create custom resource type and map command sets to it. To create a custom resource type, go to the resources tab, click on resource types. Next, click on add. Here, I will name the resource type as brocade switch. Under the general, you can choose the resource and account attributes you want to add to your resource type. Under the advanced section, you can choose the password reset method for your resource type. Here, I click on the SSH command sets. Under this, you will find all the default and custom command sets. And you can select the required command sets by clicking on them. You can add multiple command sets, associate them with the custom resource type. So I will add brocade switch as well as the default command set brocade. Once done, click save. Now that we have created a custom resource type called brocade switch, the next step is to actually create a resource of that type. In order to do it, navigate to the resource tab, click on add resource, add manually. Let's give the name as brocade NJ. It's for New Jersey. And fill out other details. From the drop down for resource type, select your custom resource type here. Here, I will choose brocade device switch. Click on save and proceed to add account under this resource. Let's fill out the form to create an account and call this test account one. Under the SSH command sets option, choose the required option from the drop down. This drop down will list all the command sets you have chosen earlier for your custom resource type. Click on add to move this account to the user accounts box and then click on save. Similarly, let me create two more accounts to the Brocade uh, New Jersey resource and call them test account two and test account three. Once the command sets are mapped to your accounts, you can configure remote password reset for the resource. For that, navigate to the resource, click on resources and then choose remote password reset from the resource actions. So here, select a remote login account and a root account. Click Save. This will enable remote password reset for all accounts under that resource as configured. There is also an option to apply a single command set to multiple accounts under a particular resource. To do so, click on the particular resource. Here again, let me select the Brocade New Jersey. Um, since we have already created three 
test accounts under it. Next, choose the required accounts under the resource and then click on apply command set in bulk. Save it. So this will map command set to all the selected accounts under a particular resource. So that's all about SSH command sets. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on using them to carry out remote password reset for custom SSH based resource types. If you have any lingering questions, you can always refer to our help page or reach us at support at passwordmanagerpro.com.